Hi everyone. I thought I'd make a video for you and I'm going to do a what's in my travel makeup bag. Um, and I'm going to do it the wrong way around. So I'm going to show you what I took with me. Then I'm going to say if I, my hair looks funny, sorry. And then I'm going to tell you if I actually needed everything or not. Now this was for a three day trip to Athens. I was presenting at a conference and I had some a dinner party and I did a bit of going out so you will see what I took and then I'll just give you my final thoughts I make videos every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday well at least I try and it would be great if you subscribe so you're gonna be seeing my hands in a bit and I will show you what okay. I took so, so let's here are it. my makeup bags this is from Primark it's a little makeup bag that has two pouches and this I got from next about two years ago but I like it because it says a spot of lippy so let's start with this and I only had a carry-on suitcase and I wanted to mention that um, so let's start with what I took in this one so I used my chocolate soleil bronzer in medium deep and I use this to contour and I took my um, chubby stick my eye chubby stick in amber ample amber and it looks like this and I use this a lot for every day so I really like it I took this um, two-faced little mini travel sample and this is the color Fla love flush which is like a pinky mauvey color and I took my Burberry eye contour which always flies out but I really like it I use it as an as eye makeup the packaging is flimsy I will not buy it again but the color does look nice this is it and this is called what color is this I think this is called hang on let me check um, so it's number 1112 1112 Rosewood <coughs> sorry I took uh, my H&M eye crayon in uh, brown yeah this is brown this is what it looks like this here is brown and then I took another eye pencil I don't wear eyeshadow that much so I usually wear eye crayons and this is in the color 05 and it's a uh, Lancome it's like a this one here a grayish and what else did I take in this little bag I took my Estee Lauder double wear concealer a lipstick from a sample lipstick from YSL I like them they're very nourishing um, my NYX fireball eyeshadow and some samples I don't take full-size creams and stuff when I'm going away so I took this what is this this is the Clinique smart SFP what am I saying SFP SPF 15 now it's a cream a face cream I don't like this this is too thick too heavy for me so I would not purchase the real product it's supposed to be like nourishing and give you what you really need but no not for me and I also got the Clinique all about eyes eye cream it's a nice soft jelly consistency I like it it feels refreshing and I also got another uh, Clinique smart which is like a, a serum thing I didn't use this so I can't comment on it and then just some perfume samples so all these were in my little makeup bag now out of everything I did not use the samples I did use this I used this I didn't use the fireball so I didn't need that I did use my Too Faced I didn't use my Lancome Stylo or the Burberry Stylo I did use the Amber, the Clinique Chubby Stick, the H&M Eye Crayon. I didn't use this Clinique 
sample, I used the creams, and I used my blush. So that was from that bag. Now let's see this makeup bag. Hang on, let me just put these away. So let's see this makeup bag. Um, okay, now I used my, I got, I took my Estee Lauder double wear with me. And of course I used it. I took my H&M Beauty Blender. I took my MAC Back in Vogue uh, lip crayon. I really like this. It's really nice and it's long lasting. Of course my infallible. Like when I'm in a hurry I use this. When I have time to blend I use this. The coverage here is much better. So when I was presenting at the conference I used my Estee Lauder. Um, foundation. When I was out and about and just for a few hours I used my um, Infallible. My Bobbi Brown Eye uh, Natural Brow Shaper. I really like this. It's like a brow mascara. This is what the bristle looks like. I've repurchased this. I like it. It's just, you know, a quick way to get give your eyes some dimension, your eyebrows some dimension. Um, my Chanel Eye Stylo in the color 197 and i like this this is a beautiful green hang on here you go that's it that's the chanel 197 this is very soft and creamy though like you apply it to your eyes it looks beautiful but you get scared that it's gonna break um i took i got my golden peach nyx eyeshadow I really like this. It's really pretty. It's easy to apply. If you're a makeup dummy like me, it's easy to apply. Too Faced Sample Mini uh, Highlighter in Rosy Glow. This is it. This is what it looks like on the finger. And that, that fits in one pouch. And then in the other pouch, I got my... What is this? This is... Look good, feel better, tapered blending brush, my Clinique powder brush, my infallible primer, my Real Techniques stippling brush, my flame, number seven flame lipstick, really pretty colour, I really like this, I get so many compl compliments when I'm wearing this, here it is, it's a beautiful colour. And what else did I get? I got another Clinique um, lips. Oh no, that the, the chubby stick I showed you earlier was pearly pink. This is the amber, am, ample amber, and it's the one I'm so here, ample amber. I used this. I didn't use the pearly pink one. Um. My Sephora blush brush, my Real Techniques uh, foundation brush, which needs washing. I had this Estee Lauder Perfectly Cream, a clean foam, which I did not use. Um, my Lottie Contour, um, Lottie Contour brush, which I like. My Estee Lauder Brightening Concealer, I did not use this. And my Maybelline Falsa Push Up Drama Mascara, which is in black. Um, I like the way it does make your eyebrows look a bit clumpy. This is what the brush looks like. So it makes your eyebrow, your eyebrows, eyebrows, <laughs> your eyelashes look clumpy, but they look thick and big. So I don't mind the little bit of clumpiness, like making them joint a little bit. That's okay. It doesn't look awful. It, it looks nice. But this is waterproof and it does not come off. You need like a zillion wash, uh, face wash creams or whatever to take this off. So I would not buy this again. Now, I used everything in here except for... No, actually I used everything in here except for this. This I didn't use. So that's that. I'll just put these in here. And finally, ha, I needed some more things, some more toiletries, and they did not fit in my makeup bags. 
so hang on let me put these away so i had my in socks and in little black bags my neutra roberts um what are these called deodorant i love this this smells like powder if you've never tried it and you like powder scents it's very refreshing and it lasts all day and it's a beautiful beautiful deodorant i really like this i i got this in a magazine and it's the wella dry shampoo and not bad i liked it it's a good product so i was happy with it and i don't know if i would buy the full size but for a traveling like essential yeah sure why not my powder my dior powder which is called dior skin forever and ever control it's like this i use my clinique brush to put this on my oral b dental floss and my clinique aromatics white mini sample which i love and of course my favorite makeup wipes which are called pompon and we have them in Greece and I love them and I always purchase and I put all the liquids in like little plastic bags and yeah I didn't get stopped for anything except this at the airport they asked me what this is everything else was okay and I showed it and it was only 75 ml so it went through so that's all from me thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe. My face will appear somewhere in the screen soon. And yeah, give this a thumbs up if you like it. Tell me if you have tried any of these products, what you think about them and how many things do you take? Like I took lots of things. Most of the things I used, um, I don't know. Like it was, it was good thinking. For three days, it was okay. So have an early day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.